Never would I have imagined that there's a whole entire community of people building tiny bass boats. I wouldn't call what I'm building a bass boat. I would call it maybe a hybrid. It's kind of a bass boat, kind of an old school fishing boat. What I'm going to be doing today is getting rid of the tiller steer and installing a stick steer. If you are an elderly gentleman or becoming elderly like myself, a stick steer is a godsend. Let me take you outside and show you the beautiful boat I bought. It's a 14 foot Alumacraft, 32 inches I think on the bottom. Has an old rusty and junky trailer that I plan to fix up. Port side. Starboard. Bow. And stern. This is the engine that came with the boat. It's a nine and a half horsepower Johnson and it runs good. Needs a water pump though. I noticed it's not spraying water out of the pump good. Beautiful little Minn Kota trolling motor came with it. Now for all the parts I've gathered so far. First item is this Easy Stick 2, which I'm gonna use for my steering. Second, remote controls for the gear shift and throttle. Last but not least, the star of the show, a 2000 model, 15 horsepower, electric start, Johnson, two stroke outboard. Time to begin the process of changing this to this steering system. First thing we need to do is to prepare the engine to receive the cable. This is a 14 millimeter nut, I already have it loose, and this bolt has to be removed. This is a spring loaded handle, we can remove that now. There's a bushing, two bushings here. We just need to push them out. We'll start on that side. That's what they look like right there. There's a washer that fits right here. We're gonna reuse that. This is called a tilt tube and it has two nuts. I spray painted it because it was a little rusty. With your washer in place, there's a little plastic bushing right here that I left in there. Now we'll just shove the tube up through there. I'm going to temporarily put these nuts on so that I can get this engine on the boat because I'd rather work on it there. I bought this cool old kit on eBay. You can see how old this thing is. Look at the cardboard on it. Steering linkage, it's actually not the exact right one, but I had trouble locating the right one. I think it's discontinued. This should work. Stainless steel hardware that we will most likely not use. Instructions, look how dingy this thing is. How long has it been sitting on the shelf? There are two of these little bushings in the kit. I wanna get this tiller handle out of the way. It's actually a 3 8 bolt in there, which is odd. A 10 will fit it, but it's loose. A nine won't fit it. Strange for a 2000 model, in my opinion. Because I don't want to take all this back apart, I'm just going to show you. I used a bushing and a nut. It's screwed all the way to the end of the threads, and our cable is screwed onto that. On this side, there's just going to be a washer and this Teflon nut. The cable is having to go on the right side of the boat, which is not desirable because the controls are on the left. Let me show you. So you can see my issue. The rod is on the left side of the engine. The cable's having to come out of the right side of the engine and the controls are up there on the left. With it set up like that, this rod fits nearly perfectly underneath this hole. But this bracket is really useless to me. I believe I'm going to take this bracket off. Before I remove this washer, I'm going to use this plate it has on it to hold it square in my drill press while I drill a hole down through the center of it. If you're wondering why I'm drilling a hole down through the center of it, just hang in there. I'll show you.
You saw this rod get drilled, but what you didn't see is that I also tapped it for threads for a bolt. So I'm putting this here on top of this, and all this is is a little wear spot. When you turns, it'll wear this PVC piece instead of the aluminum. Now just a washer and bolt. When I do the final assembly, I'll put some Loctite on those threads. Now let's see what it's going to do. Center position, all the way right, all the way left. So far so good, it would appear to be a nice smooth operation. It's the next morning and I realized something. The cable is on the right side. The left hand side, the bracket, seemed to want to fit there like it belongs there. I could have obviously changed the cable to the other side and made a different bracket to work out, but I was wondering why did it all fit so nice? And the reason for that is simple. Most boats have a console on the right side of the boat and the steering wheel is on the right side of the boat. So that's why that bracket was set up like that and I didn't realize it until after a good night's sleep. I'm gonna leave it for now, but one day I may get a shorter cable and another pivot arm that'll work on the other side so it's just a neater, cleaner job. Because the cable that came with my used stick steer unit is so long, it actually works out good because I'll snake it through the boat like this and like that, and I won't have to buy a shorter cable. It'll save me some money. I've been to the scrap yard collecting up aluminum bits and pieces for our project here. I believe out of this piece I can make a bracket that will hold our steering control. Let me hack this up and I'll show you what I have in mind. Very simple tool to make just out of square stock steel. To mold this, all you have to do is cut a slit there and then bend it over. However you want it. See that? Anything you glue needs to be as rough as you can get it for a mechanical bond. This is what I was able to piece together using that scrap metal. There's another view for you. A view of the inside where I had to rivet, glue, and use that little piece of angle that I made up. I'll do my best to show you how this all goes together. Here's our stick steer unit, and it slips into this piece right here like so. This piece right here will now slip over it like that. I have two pieces of angle, one for the front, one for the back, or one for the side, and one for the other side. Now these four screws and nuts should go through everything. The box inside of there, the two outside plates, all of it, and it should sandwich it together nice and tight. starboard side there's a front view for you and port side view 
So here's a bonus view of the back kind of port side. Would have been great to have a TIG welder. Would have been great to have somebody with a TIG welder weld it for me. But what you see is what I get. I think it'll work out just fine. The reason I'm not overly concerned is because I'm going to cover it up with carpet. Now for the grand finale and what we have all been waiting for, especially me. Here we go. Can you see the engine behind me? Oh, oh, it's nice and smooth. I love this. It does. It feels good. It's real smooth. And this is very sturdy. I'm going to call the first order of business on this boat, converting the steering a success. Success doesn't mean perfect. I'm happy with it for now. I can change things later along the way. Stay tuned. More to come on this boat build. We'll see you next time.